Hey Wellness Warriors, are you guys ready to talk about balance? Balance is always the goal, and as some of my friends and I like to call it, harmony. And it can be challenging when the seasons of our lives are ever changing, right? There's no one cut recipe for balance that's going to work indefinitely. Which means, how do we create balance and what is the importance of it? I'm going to read a short passage to you guys from the language of letting go. The goal is balance. We need balance between work and play. We need balance between giving and receiving. We need balance in thought and feeling. We need balance in caring for our physical self and then our spiritual self. A balanced life has harmony between a professional life and a personal life. There may be times when we need to climb mountains at work and there may be times when we need to put extra energy into our relationships. But the overall picture needs balance. Just as a balanced nutritional diet takes into account the realm of our nutritional needs to stay healthy, a balanced life takes into account all of our needs. Our need for friends, work, love, family, play, private time, recovery time, and spiritual time with God. If we get out of balance, our inner voice will tell us, but it's up to us to listen. Today I will examine my life and see if the scales have swung too far in any area or not far enough in some. I will work towards achieving balance. So how do we create the balance? I think a big key point is doing the daily check-in. You guys know that I am for checking in with the still small voice inside you, however that looks in your life. For me, it's at least 10 to 20 minutes of meditating midday. For you, it could be going on a walk, sitting outside on a chaise lounge, whatever works, but I think getting quiet for a minute allows you to check in with yourself and I can't stress how important this is to creating well-being in your life and balance and harmony. So the first step is going to be acknowledging, really taking some time to check in. Step two is examining, really paying attention. Am I out of balance? Is something not feeling in sync? What areas would I like to feel more balanced in? Set a goal. Get an outline, kind of figure out what, what you want to do different. And plan out tasks that support you in making that change. Five, you can reflect on what's something that felt really good that you've accomplished in the past. How did you stay focused towards that goal and in accomplishing it? How did you handle your fears and anxieties? in this past experience where you achieved excellent results. Six is prepare, so you're gonna need to check in. What is that inner voice, the negative self-talk? What are your red flags, the things that stop you? For me, um, feeling like I'm not smart enough or didn't do something right, I have my own red flags that stop me from achieving uh, the balance that I'm kind of needing in my life. So you're going to need to check in and prepare so that you are aware of when you're throwing up limits or hurdles that are stopping you. Seven, empower. What are those things that you need to remind yourself of in the times where you're having self-doubt or self-sabotage? Remember self-compassion. We're trying to be kind to ourselves and be a friend. Balance is not going to feel good in your life if you're being cruel to yourself to accomplish it. So number eight, connect. Who do you have in your life that supports you, inspires you, believes in you? Reach out and, and talk to these individuals. If you don't have this, call me. <laughs> So there are eight steps. I mean, here's nine. Nine, it's okay to splurge on yourself, do something kind, uh, give yourself a break, go have fun, do create some, some space and time in your life to do things that fill your energy. And often it's during these times that more clarity comes on what you need balance about. Also, you'll raise your energy and be able to be more productive in the areas of your life where you're trying to. The topic of the day is balance, it's harmony, it's creating space to live your best life. What is one thing that you are gonna do that supports having balance and harmony in your life today? Leave that in the comments so that I can find inspiration from your walk and I will talk to you guys next week.